What is good, Cecil family? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one, I want to give you guys a very important warning about Tesla and the overall market. But let me first say that I'm not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, don't forget about the Moomoo link. The offer ends very soon. If you deposit $100, you're going to get up to five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 of them. And the offer ends very soon in just about eight hours. Anyways, for Tesla, we have something very, very important going on with the share price that I want to talk about. So as you know, tomorrow, the deliveries data is coming out. As a reminder, it's going to be coming out for Tuesday, April 2nd most likely between 8 30 a.m and 9 o'clock a.m eastern standard time now we can't make any promises about the specific time though it's most likely going to be on tuesday april 2nd but i don't know about the time sometimes it could be delayed uh, but it should be coming out tomorrow there's a very very high probability sometime tomorrow is coming out most likely in the daytime and the time right now that that is expected is going to be 8 30 a.m to 9 a.m so watch and see what the deliveries numbers look like but this is going to be very very important now there's also something else about tesla stock i want to warn you guys about so when it comes to tesla okay although tesla is still holding up this 173 area i want you guys to notice that option premiums are very expensive right now right and many different things kind of like determine the price of these option premiums and one of those things is implied volatility so right now implied volatility has been going up for tesla now is it as high as different times we've seen during like times of you know earnings and stuff like that no it's not that that's that high but it is up a little bit and i personally think that this is just a normal thing that happens you know before deliveries before earnings but what this tells us is that there's going to be a big iv crush that means that implied volatility is likely going to drop once we get the data tomorrow, okay? So your option premiums are going to lose a lot of value tomorrow. And in order for you to make profit on them, you most likely want to see Tesla make a big move. There are some exceptions for or different strategies that can be used to kind of like offset this, such as playing covered calls. Uh, but that's like for more advanced option holders and you have to use your shares as collateral, which requires a lot more capital. But if you're just going long on options, if you're just like buying calls or buying puts, which is what the majority of these retail investors likely will do, I just want to warn you all, there's going to be a big IV crush. So to clarify, let's just say you're, you're shorting Tesla, you shorted Tesla at like 175, right? Even if you have a short on Tesla and Tesla remains at 172, if, if it opens tomorrow at 172, you might still lose money because the implied volatility dropped. So you lost a lot of premium on your options, even if Tesla is still once again at this level. Now, in order to make money, you would have wanted this thing to not just drop to 172, but actually continue sinking all the way down to much lower levels like 168, or even lower levels like 165. If it dropped all the way down to 165 and you had shorted like 175, you definitely could have made money even despite the IV drop. Now, if it's the other way around, let's just say you're playing the upside, right? You're, you have calls on Tesla, the 175 strike. If Tesla pushes after deliveries up to like one, you know, 176, hypothetically, right? Uh, you're not going to make much money because it's just barely going to hit in the money and the move is not going to be big enough to really offset the change in the option premiums so you'd want there to be a big move to the upside to make money right you want there to be a big move for you to make uh, a profitable trade if you're going long on options because implied volatility will drop and you have to offset that with something else that's going to determine this price or the delta which is going to be very very important uh, you could go over the Greeks again if you're interested in learning more about options, but those are some of the things I just want to warn you guys about. So what does this mean? If you're holding an option overnight, it's your choice. You can make crazy money. You may make a lot of money. You may not. Uh, but just know that uh, to make money, you generally want there to be a big move on Tesla if you're going long on options. If you're selling covered calls or doing something else, you know, it could also, you know, these, these high premiums could also work in your advantage if you play them right as well. But that depends if, if on your strategy and things like that. But let me just say that for the people out there who are going long on options, you're like buying calls or buying puts or something like that. You have to be prepared for this because the IV drop that's coming, you know, it could have a very, very big effect on your entire portfolio value. It could have a big effect on different things like that if you're holding like lots of long-term options and things like that. So that's why it's very important to remember that. And then for short-term trades, you could lose a lot of your value overnight. So please be prepared for that. Make sure you're ready and you're prepared for what's about to come. All right, so for Tesla, what's it doing right now? It's just kind of shuffling, not really doing a whole lot. It's indecisive because it's getting ready for a big move. We're likely going to get a big move tomorrow when the numbers come out. Uh, the expectations for Tesla's deliveries are very low. So we'll see if, you know, it's that bad to the point where Tesla ends up tanking or if Tesla makes a big move to the upside. 
honestly, guys, you could play the options if you want. If you want to hold Tesla overnight in, in terms of like options trades, it's your choice. Uh, I'm not the kind of guy that likes to trade way too much on days like this or even overnight. Uh, we all have our different preferences, so it's all up to you. But I just want to give you guys a warning, and I think it's very important that you know about this. If Tesla is bullish and we do get a massive move in the share price, we could easily hit past like 182.5. We could actually approach 188 if we make a massive move to the upside. If we make a big move to the downside, we're easily going to fall down to 165 if that fails us. We could be heading all the way down towards, I would say, uh, we could come down below 160, actually. That is, that's a real possibility, guys. We could lose 160 if we get a very, very bad move by Tesla. I could actually see that on the chart, too. So, like I said, a big move is coming. And if you want to hold overnight, it, it could be risky. If you don't understand how options work or, you know, all these decays and things like that, just be careful. And I'm just here to give you guys a warning about that implied volatility drop that's coming. So, get ready. Do what you have to do. For NVIDIA... This thing was trying to break. It actually failed to hold above this resistance. You guys can see it came down, tried to retest 908. Now we're coming back down. We held 892, so it hasn't lost critical support yet. Overall, it's still stuck within its range. Watch 892 is key support. Watch 908 is key resistance. It was trying to break out and kind of failed, and now we're just kind of trading sideways. So NVIDIA is looking a little bit weak, guys, so just be kind of careful. SPY. Showing a little bit of weakness. We actually lost this key trend line of support. We came down towards uh, this previous uh, resistance becoming support at 521. Not that strong support. We have a stronger support at 520. But there is a risk of this dropping a bit more. SPY is not looking that great, guys, especially after this big rejection. Might get a back to this trend line. We'll see if we get a rejection as well. Watch 522 is resistance. Just know this chart is showing some weakness. The QQQ is no exception. It's also showing weakness. I called this down in the morning. That might come down to fill this gap. Came all the way down to this 443 area, the 200 EMA we called out as well. Came back up. Now we're just kind of stuck in this 444 area. We're likely going to be stuck kind of trading sideways for the majority of the rest of the day. But there is a risk of downside. I'm going to give you guys that warning. Looking at this, uh, this nice little range that this has been in, we're going to likely see this thing come back down lower to lower levels back to test this trend line. So I see some downside potential on the QQQ as well. And Apple, not looking that great. I mean, it's not really tanking extremely hard. But the issue with Apple is the fact that we have this high right here. We came down. We made a lower high. And we're continuing to sink. We lost 170's key support. And we could actually continue to sink lower towards 169. So the chart looks a bit more bearish, showing some weakness. We're seeing some bars trying to get it back above 170. We'll see, if, we'll see if it closes above 170 or not. But nonetheless, the chart is looking a bit more bearish. Not the strongest in my personal opinion. But that being said, guys, please heed my warnings. Do what you have to do and get ready for Tesla. Once again, if you want to hold overnight, it could be risky for Tesla. That's your choice. I want the best for everyone. So good luck, guys. Let's hope Tesla makes a very, very big move and you can make good money on the play. If not, if you don't want to risk it, it's also your choice. I'm trying to not like disencourage you or do anything like that. I just want to, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Uh, so it's your choice. Good luck, guys. Hope for the best and just be prepared for a big change in the option positioning sizes and the way premiums are going to be calculated because of implied volatility. So be ready and do what you have to do. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video in just a couple of hours. Thank you for listening and peace out.